Hi everyone, welcome to victoriapiking.com and if you thought that you can only eat this Indian tandoori chicken in fancy Indian restaurants, uh, think again. Now I'm going to show you how to make this amazing chicken at your home kitchen. So let's start to make this deliciousness. Yum, yum, yum. Let's start with the marinade. Uh, I'm adding half lemon juice, about tablespoon, tablespoon and a half of lemon juice to it. Then yogurt. I have kefir here, and this is the authentic uh, uh, Indian yogurt that usually used in India. So about cup of it. I have a lot of um, chicken here. Let's start with the spices, and I think spices is always the finest part of this uh, Indian recipes. So chili powder, again, it depends who eats in your family. Add as you like, I love a lot, my son disagree usually with this decision. So I'm trying not to overcome. Cinnamon. Cumin. Don't overdo the cumin. Cumin is very pungent and very strong flavored spice. But cinnamon and cumin works wonderful. Now uh, turmeric. This is classical for Indian. Yay, let's jump. And let's dance. Okay, this is my... Then sweet paprika. Again, they use usually chili powder, but I can't use a lot of chili powder in order to make it very very red and I want it very red because it's the idea of being very red they even sometimes in restaurants they add a little bit of uh, food coloring which I don't recommend at all and smoked paprika to give them a smokiness because you remember we don't have actually tandoor in our uh, home unfortunately I would love to have tandoor oven in my house but uh, not really nutmeg a bit of nutmeg really nice and ginger now please do use fresh ginger I don't have fresh ginger so a bit of um, dried ginger I have no choice but please use fresh ginger and black pepper Himalayan pink salt goes in. Now, our masala. This is one of the kind of masalas you can... Um, usually they add uh, garam masala, which is good. I love the our masala a little bit better in this recipe somehow. Not me, I love both of them. My son loves this masala. And garlic. Now, this is one huge garlic. It's like four leg regular ones. So at least four to five regular garlic cloves. Very important to, you know, to mix it together. I love to add the uh, olive oil. Now this is uh, olive oil. It's not classical addition to the party, but because I'm from Middle East or Mediterranean area, olive oil it's a must. So extra virgin olive oil. And mix all together. That's it. And I love to to marinate it for 24 hours, especially the whole pieces with the bone, even not overnight. I know people marinate it way less time. Now I have here a couple of uh, legs. I forgot to take this leg out, but yeah, legs and uh, you know all those parts wings legs and you know so mix everything together and let it marinate for 24 hours what i like to do it's to place some kind of plate on top and then to add heavy lifts on the top like uh, 
bottle water or something like this I need heavy lifts and it will help the marinade this is how I do it and then I'm covering it with the clean film and this and now it goes to refrigerator for 24 hours after 24 hours light up large tray with uh, parchment paper or foil like me if you do the foil do the bright side up not the dull side and put your chicken on preheat the um, oven to 375 degrees and right away when you put it in lower it to 350 what I love before I'm putting it inside the oven to put a little bit more paprika just to give it a little bit more reddish color tint to it this is absolutely optional you then don't have to do it just sprinkle with a little bit you see here again just to give this a bit of reddish color and afterwards pop it in the oven to hour hour and a half hey let's eat the chicken obviously it was a huge success in our house so look how it looks wonderful it's succulent and it's spiced and it's just delicious, delicious, delicious. I really, really hope you will give it a go. And you know, as usual, don't forget to subscribe, write me a comment, thumbs up me, and cheers, Victoria. Love you all. See you next time. Love you all. Bye, bye. Bye.